Hey everybody, welcome to Fishing Planet. My name is The Lady and today I'm going to show you guys how to catch uh, bovins. So right here I have a trophy even on it. It's 3.3 uh, kilograms. It's uh, almost 75 uh, centimeters and uh, it's giving us 58 experience points. Um, right now I'm fishing on my main account, so uh, it's a premium and I got 30 uh, XP more. Uh, we're going to uh, keep this fish. So first off I'd like to show you guys uh, my catches. And so here we are. As you can see I've used different types of bait uh, that we can use to catch them on. So I've used shiners, also called a bass with it. Shrimps, I know bass like that one too. And then the cut baits, I uh, got small cut bait and medium cut bait in, uh, in this session. And um, here are uh, the rewards. So uh, for the smallest one I got 9 and then for the two trophies I got 17 and 21. Uh, bucks. Experience wise of course the trophies are give a lot more. Now do mind that uh, as I said I'm a premium so um, you have to uh, get a third off from uh, from this. So this will be about um, 50 experience points and then this one would be about 75 XP and right here it will be about 30 experience that you get. Um, so that's uh, this is uh, what what I like. So you can use shiners or shrimps or cut bait, uh, small, medium, and large. And uh, then you can also use uh, the small, and large minnows. They work too, although they cost gold. And same goes for uh, crawfish and uh, crawfish cup. Uh, so that's uh, that's the bait that you can use. Now I've tried. Um, uh, I did uh, extensive testing yesterday on the bovin and I've tried to uh, catch one on lures. Uh, but so far I haven't succeeded. Uh, I don't know why that is. Uh, because bovins are predator fish and I should be able to catch them uh, on, a, on a lure. Um, maybe I'm just not... Uh, I haven't found the right lure yet. But um, well, we'll uh, as soon as, uh, as I know how to catch them on lures, I'll, uh, I'll do a vid about that as well. So for the time being, it's uh, float fishing that uh, we need to do. And um, this is my setup. Now I will talk later, uh, at, uh, after we fished, uh, about the uh, gear. Because it was somewhat of a surprise to me. Um, uh, I got spooled every single time I hooked a bow fin uh, of 2 kilograms and up. Uh, when I was using level 10 and level 12 gear. So um, that was a surprise to me. I thought they were a bit like uh, catfish. Um, so if you're on a low level, it's uh, it's pretty hard to uh, to catch the bovins. Well, not uh, catch them, but landing them. That's uh, that's uh, the difficult part. Anyways, uh, so for right now, what you uh, what you need to remember is uh, chubby bobber. Uh, that has to do with debate. Uh, hooks, it starts, you can already catch them on hook number 2 and then all the way up to 4.0. Uh, right now I've been using hook 2.0. Uh, the depth, uh, here I have so it's set 110 centimeters. You can already catch them anywhere between, say, 50 centimeters and uh, max depth. But they do prefer to swim a bit high in the water. So typically I would fish between 100 centimeters and say 150 centimeters depending on, uh, on the air pressure. And um, for our next fish let's uh, use small cup bait and let's uh, use a smaller hook as well. So let's uh, do 1.0 just to uh, show you guys that uh, with this you can catch it as well. Um, okay, so I am... oh. Here we go. I am standing on uh, catfish heaven and the reason for that is because I'm going to fish in this area which is behind the lily pads. Those are here and I'm going to fish here. So where the reeds begin there and then to there. This is where I fish and then it's between say about 24 meters out till about 20 and uh, my standard spot is like 22 and I cast all the way over there and then let uh, the current uh, take my float to here. Now if you're on less songs, 
uh, you have to stand up here and then cast towards here and this is at least 30 meters so that's why I prefer to stand on Catfish Heaven and but there's also another spot and that's the last song and that's alongside these reed lines now if you are standing there uh, make sure to use a cut bait so the small or the medium or the large cut bait uh, because if you use shiners or shrimps or something or red worms that that uh, works too you get a lot of more bass here and with red worms in general you also get a lot of panfish and reason for that is that uh, if you're fishing at a uh, hundred centimeters or one meter and uh, there's also a lot of panfish so that's uh, why I prefer to use the cup bait uh, to have a bigger chance on uh, on uh, catching uh, the bovin. So here we go. Uh, let's hope I hook one uh, fast. So right now it's uh, so I'm 24. I'm reeling into 22. Um, right now uh, the peak hours for uh, bovins are uh, sunny days uh, from 5 a.m. till 8 a.m. in the morning. And on cloudy days, uh, that, that's for, for trophy hours. And on cloudy days, I couldn't find a specific time to catch the trophy both in. Uh, you can uh, catch them all day long. Uh, same with, uh, with bass. And uh, as I said, uh, there's a lot of um, similarities between the bass and the bovin. They swim on the same depth, uh, they swim during the same hours, or they get active during the same hours. They prefer the same food. The only difference is, is that cut bait uh, has a slight more preference for the bovin, or the bovin likes the cut bait a little bit more than the bass does. So that's why I'm, uh, why I'm using uh, cut bait for it. Uh, right now my wind speed is not showing. Normally it would stand over here. Um, I don't know why. I think it uh, could be a small bug. I fished... Uh, this is the second day that I'm fishing. And when I fast forward the time, uh, the wind speed uh, went, uh, went away. So, uh, let's hope we'll get a nibble soon. Now, as I said, um, I was a bit taken back by... Um, how easily you can get spooled by uh, by a bowfin, and um, I thought they were a bit like uh, catfish. You know, the bowfin, the, the biggest bowfin trophy is a 4.5 kilograms right now, or at least that's that's the biggest one that has been caught so far uh, in the past seven days. So and then catfish is like six kilograms. I remember off the catfish. And I fish here on Catfish Heaven, and it's like uh, between 7 and 12 meters out. And then the really big ones, those of uh, say 5 kilograms, uh, 5 and a half kilograms, uh, I got a nibble there. Uh, th those give a bit of a fight, but still, it's uh, uh, you can reel them in uh, with, with level 8 gear. And that's tip not the case with uh, these bowfins, they really uh, pull like a freight train. And even though we can already catch them, I mean, you, you just use a hook number one and uh, and some small cut bait. Uh, even though you can can catch them, uh, as soon as it goes over the two kilograms, uh, y your gear is completely useless. So that's uh, this is how you catch your bowfins. Now um, I'm going to head home, and then I'm showing you guys uh, the setup. Yes, I'm sure I want to leave. I'm taking some money with me. So here we are. Uh, first let's go to the rods. Uh, select it on level lowest first. So here we are. So we start out of course with uh, this one 650 and it has a line weight of 3 kilograms. So um, and that wasn't enough. And then I tried uh, what's the next one? The Omnifloat 450, which has a line weight of three and a half kilograms. That wasn't enough either. And then I went with uh, Troy, a level 12, which has a line weight of four kilograms. And I put a reel on it, which uh, which was 2.9. Um, and I still got spooled. And then the f next. Um, casting rod that we're, or um, telescopic rod that we are getting is this one level 18 Phoenix 390 which has a line weight of six kilograms 
and this is what we need for uh, for the trophy bowfin and for for like the 2.6 bowfin that you just uh, saw me catch and that's uh, in, in my opinion that's a bit ridiculous um, I, I know there's uh, of course it's not uh, just small fish in, uh, in Missouri I mean there's gar as well which can reach up to uh, 40 kilograms and for that of course we need a uh, huge uh, huge weaponry for that we need like uh, the Loki and the Brutus to uh, to be able to catch them um, so that that's level 20 and that, that's completely fine but a bowfin I mean uh, the shortest they get like uh, 1.2 kilograms so then why would we need a 6 kilogram rod? Um, okay so but um, this is then the rod that I had to use to to be able to fish them um, uh, and and uh, buying it with common currency now like here you have on level 17 you have the phoenix 350 which is for gold and then uh, no that's not it let's see what other one do we have that is a gold uh, thing Federlite's not it aurora uh, no that's all spinning let me check uh, here we have a Caesar, but it's four kilograms, and that's not enough. So um, it's it's level eighteen, I'm afraid, rod wise. So that's uh, that was a bit of a of a disappointing uh, factor for me. And then when it comes to reels, like here, so um, uh, we you start with uh, with this one, a mini spin, and then at level three we get that one, then we get the inspire cast, but there's a max drag 1.6, so that's not good enough. So at, um, with with the Troy, the level 12 um, telescopic rod, I use this one, the wing cast 2500, which has a max drag of 2.9 kilograms, and I put a mono 2.7 kilograms test line on it, and I still got spooled. Every time I hooked a, a fish that was over two kilograms, and with 1.9 kilogram, I was really struggling to uh, to get it in. So then further on, um, here we have uh, gold uh, stuff, so we don't want uh, to use that. Then here in level 12, this is the McFinnis Spira MRL 2000, and this is actually the reel that I'm uh, using right now on the setup that I'm uh, that I. Uh, had to uh, to catch the bowfins, so you need a, a level 12 reel which has a drag of 5.0 uh, kilograms, and then you need a level 18 rod um, to put it on uh, to have a, a balanced setup. Of course, we could go with say the Troy, which had um, this one, which had a line width of 3.5 kilograms. But then if you would add the reel to it, which uh, is 5 kilograms of uh, max track then we would uh, have a chance of losing our reel so all in all it's not uh, not something that uh, that I favor but um, that that I was surprised to find out about so um, set up once more I'll show you guys so here it is Phoenix 390 level 18 Aspira MLR 3000 uh, level 12 and then I've used the uh, fluoro open to 28 millimeter. You can uh, get it at level eight. And then well hook size, as I said, it's uh, two up to four pordo. And um, for baits, uh, the cup baits, and then the shrimps uh, and the shiners. So the small cup bait is level five. Medium cup baits, I think it was level 13. Let's check baits. Uh, oh, it's not doing that. So small cut. Oh, small cut is even level four. Then uh, minnows, but they cost gold. Is level five, and uh, simply you don't have a reel and a rod at level five available unless it's DLC to uh, be able to catch it. And then here crawfish cut is what works too, but that too costs gold. It's available at level twelve. And then at level thirteen, medium cut bait. At level sixteen, shrimps. Also, uh, large minnows, a level 16, and a level 17, a uh, large cut bait, and also shiners. So that's the bait that works. And, uh, well, I, uh, I hope you uh, <laughs> didn't crush your dreams, uh, as, as mine was a bit crushed. Um, it's still a very nice fish to, uh, to fish for. And um, 
if if you want to try uh, at a low level, by all means, go ahead. Just make sure you have uh, a small hook, so hook number uh, two or hook number one, because starting at 1.0, you will get the bigger ones and they will spool you. And uh, make sure you have your finger on the B button uh, to break your line the moment you do get spooled. Um, so that's uh, pretty much it. So right now I'm going to wish you guys happy days, tight lines, and see you later. Bye bye.